dog eat dog world out here. <laughs> Holy shit, survival of the fittest. As soon as you get on the Autobahn ramp, full throttle. It's like the first time you get on a roller coaster. <laughs> Just come to Germany, go to the Autobahn. Holy cow. It's always an Audi. It's always an Audi. Left lane. I'm a badass. <laughs> We're on the Autobahn. It's the right pedal. Speed! <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Germany. I think next step's Formula One. Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Feli. I'm originally from Munich, Germany, where we are right now. Mm -hmm. Ben and me, my boyfriend. I've been living in Cincinnati, Ohio, on and off since 2016, and that's where we live together. You're from the US. Yes. This is obviously not your first time in Germany. That's How many times? The sixth time. So I'm, I'm getting used to it at this point. But for whatever reason, unknown reason, I should say, he's never driven here. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and it's weird because whenever we're in the US, he's the designated driver like yeah. I am a good driver but I don't love driving like I'd much rather be the passenger driver so whenever we go grocery shopping or on a road trip you pretty much do yes. all the driving but here it's the exact opposite here I'm always the driver and the thing is like you're a really good driver I don't know why you've never driven here you've never felt comfortable enough so I've driven us to Rome all by myself. I've driven us to Venice. I've Florence. driven us all over, yeah, to yeah. Florence. I've driven us all over Germany. But today, we're going to change that. Today, it's going to be your first day driving in Germany, finally. Intimidating. Why haven't you driven before? I think it, what I just said, it's just kind of intimidating. The idea so? of the, the Autobahn and like yeah. no speed limit and then the lack of stop signs. Yeah. Um, that kind the of... The rules are a little bit different, The rules for are sure. a little different. But I think I've worked up the confidence <laughs> to finally get out there and go do this. The other thing that keeps a lot of Americans from driving here is that the most common type of car in Germany and other European countries is manual yeah. cars, stick yeah. shift. And most Americans don't know how to drive that. You're actually the exception. Yeah, I learned how to drive a stick shift whenever I was younger, like basically a kid. So like <laughs> six, on the farm, so like tractors, farm trucks. Yeah. Stuff like and that. And you also owned a stick shift car for a while, yeah, right? A many. Mini? Yeah. yeah. But the good thing is today we don't even have to worry about that because my parents have one stick shift and one automatic car, which, as I said, is not super common in Germany, but some people have automatic cars. So we're going to use the automatic today. Yeah. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh, I can't fit in this car. Okay, back it up. Okay. I'm nervous, guys. Here comes Feely. I'm not nervous. Oopsie daisy. What? I went to the wrong side of the car. Uh, Are you ready? Yes. You get your seat situated and everything? Yes. Okay. Power. It's not like you've never driven before. I know, it's <laughs> different. And for my fellow car guys out there, this is a Skoda Octavia. And I'm moving. All right, are we taking a Randy or a Larry? Let's take a Larry. We're taking a Larry. Taking a Larry. I'm very nervous about bikers. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yep, you're good. First, we're gonna drive around the area that you're familiar with. Yes. So here, for example, whenever there's no street signs telling you the intersection, the person from the right always has the right of way. Okay. Rechts so links. To... So this next street too, there's no signs. So if there was someone coming from the right, the street we can see pretty well. Like we could already see nobody was coming. But if you can't see, you definitely need to make sure you slow down significantly or come to a full stop. Okay. Most people don't come to a full stop. Yeah. They just kind of slow here again. So you got to make sure oh, yeah. that you don't miss them. Yeah. So the blue street signs are like where a street is, right? Okay. I feel like I'm 16 all over again right now. So what's that sign? Yield sign. Turning right. So we got to yield. The other street has the yellow diamond. All. Meaning they have the right of way. So no situation where you have to see, oh, does the other person have a stop sign? No. Both of you will, yeah. will clearly know if you have the right of way or not, which I personally prefer over stop sign intersections in the US. Because I know whenever it's a four-way stop sign where everyone has a stop sign, okay, like you know, everyone has a stop sign. But sometimes there are streets where only one of the two streets has mm -hmm. the stop sign and the other street doesn't, meaning that street has the right of way, but nobody's really told that they have the right of way. Yeah. So you having the stop sign, you don't really know if they have a stop sign too. So you kind of have to guess, like looking at what signage they have. And from the back, you have to guess the shape. Like, do they have a stop sign? And then the person that doesn't have the stop sign also doesn't get told somehow that they have the right of way. Yeah. So I prefer being clearly told. Here, this is just a bunch of signs telling us that there might be toads crossing the street. <laughs> Let's turn left at the ne next intersection. I feel like a driver's instructor yeah, right now. I know. <laughs> Oh god, I got someone behind me. Little kid on a bike. Oh, sorry. 
Oh, oh that was the windshield wipers. windshield wipers. Okay, you're gonna have to tell me when to like pull over and when not to pull over. I mean, that's just kind of the same as back home. Like whenever you feel like both cars can't fit, then you have to pull over. Okay, okay. he's, he's gonna, gonna, gonna scoot over. I'm gonna do the southern wave here. Yeah. Here go, you ready? Thank you. Yep, he did that it back. Also, that's yes. not just the southern wave. That's what yes. I thought you guys did that. What did you tell me? Like whenever I did that for the first time, like a thank you. Yeah. You said in the south that could get you in trouble. No, in my hometown, we do that to everybody that we pass. It's like, oh, hey, that's what, it's okay. Like, just like a hi. Yeah, 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 it's yeah sort okay, of like that's a what you said. courteous thing. Oh, no. Did you say that like the, the light signal would get you in trouble? Whenever you, we, you say thank you to someone at night. Oh, and yeah. Whenever light. you flash your lights. Flash your lights. Yeah, people could take that. Differently. That's maybe what I get it confused with. Yeah, because yeah, that's like whenever it's night and we're on a narrow street where one car has to scoot over to let the other car go, then you'll just do the light flash. I do as that. As a thank you. I do that as a thank you. And okay, then I... yeah. Here we have right before left. Good job. Yes. It's not a full <laughs> stop. That would have got me a ticket. That would have been a rolling stop in the United States. That's you can ticket. do a rolling stop as long as you check that there's nobody coming. Okay. What is it in German? X. Rechts vor links. X for links. Right before left, but it's actually okay. quicker in German. If you're also planning a trip to Germany to drive on the Autobahn, among other things, of course, and want to learn some German beforehand, or if you want to learn another language, today's sponsor, LiveXP, is the perfect place to start. LiveXP is a platform where you can find language tutors from around the world for private one-on-one -on -one language lessons. You can choose from over 2,000 professional teachers and more than 35 different languages and improve your conversation skills and pronunciation step-by-step -step in customized lessons with native speakers who are also fluent in your first language or with a tutor who lives in the same country as you and is available during your preferred time slots or with someone who shares the same interests as you. So if you want to practice your German or Spanish while talking about soccer or your favorite video game or Taylor Swift, you can find just the right person for you. That's the best way to learn a language anyway, talking about real life topics that you actually care about. Then you can watch the introduction video for each of the tutors and book your 30 minute trial lesson. You can use LiveXP both in your browser and on your phone with the app. And with the new word trainer, you can now freshen up your vocabulary anytime, wherever you are. Live LiveXP truly has the kindest tutors. They'll kind of take you by the hand and meet you exactly where you're currently at in your language learning journey, whether you're starting completely from scratch or want to work on your business vocab or on colloquialisms, the lessons will be created just for you. And with my code Feli, you can now get a trial lesson for only 99 cents. And with the code Feli30, you'll then get a 30% discount on any LiveXP subscription. The subscriptions are valid for all tutors, even if you switch between different tutors or different languages even, that's all included. Just scan this QR code or click on the link in the info box below and get started today. How does it feel? Feels good. Does it feel different than whenever you're on the passenger seat? Yes, very much okay. so. Yeah, very much <laughs> More so. challenging? No, it's just different. Because admit it, you've been judging my driving here and there. <laughs> Sometimes. But no, here you are, I... all like scared. <laughs> I'm like, hey. Sometimes you've been like, you were so close to that car. And it's like, well, I have to. It's narrow. Yeah. Okay, so we're currently at a red light. How do you feel about intersections with traffic lights? It's a lot more like bigger cities where they're not hanging over the intersection on a wire. They're more on the side. Yeah. And then whenever it's about to turn green, it turns yellow first mm -hmm. to tell a manual driver. Get your gear get in. Get your gear in yeah. and get ready to go. The no turn on red thing. You're going to have to remind me on that. Yeah, you like, cannot I turn right on a red traffic light. And then also, of course, the traffic lights are on your side of the intersection, not on the opposite side. So that sometimes can be kind of tricky when you are like the first one in line and the traffic traffic light is like on the side of your car, you have to kind of be like, oh, like is around. it green yet? Yeah. <laughs> it's like pulling way too close to one in the States and you gotta like look up. Well, in the US, it's usually on the other side of the intersection though, or at least in the middle of the intersection. So you can always see it. Yeah. But that scared me at first. Cause I was like, I'm so used to stopping wherever the traffic light is that I was worried that when I first started driving in the US that I would drive all the way into the intersection until you know, the point where the traffic yeah. light was. There is a cop. No bikers? Nope. Yeah, that's another very important thing. You've already learned that from me because I always ask you to double check with me. Every time you turn right in Germany, you always have to check for bikers, for pedestrians. I mean, you should do that in the US too, but at most intersections where we live, there is no bike lane. There are no yeah. bikers, pedestrians for sure. But like, you really have to do like 
an over-the-shoulder look here very thoroughly. Check your mirrors too. And whenever you're in the passenger seat, I always want you to look too in case you're kind of, as the passenger, blocking my view right where the biker is. So I always want you to double check. Yeah. I mean, I feel like this is a biker's city. The roads kind of belong to the bikers. Yeah. This feels so weird. Why? The idea of driving in another country is like, I knew I would do it one day, but actually doing it, it's Oh like, yeah, this is your first time ever driving in another yes, country in general. Yes. Have you ever driven in Canada? No. No. Damn. I've never been to Canada. True. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I've been to Germany six times, but <laughs> never been to Canada or Mexico. I've even driven in Canada. Yeah. And I think this would be a good point to kind of point out that I'm not driving illegally here. No. The state of Kentucky and a good amount of other states has an agreement with Germany to honor our licenses. Our driving permit. Please put both of your hands on the steering wheel. Thank okay. you very much. <laughs> 10 to 2. I went to AAA and I got my international driver's permit, which is basically just a... It's like not a legal document. It's just a translation. It's a translation off your yeah. legal driver's license. Coming from an English-speaking country, it's not super necessary. It's more like if you come from a country where like no police officer in Germany is going to speak the language. Maybe it's even a different script. It's just basically telling you, yes, this is a legitimate driver's license. Because also like cops in other countries, they can't tell what's like real and what's fake yeah. in your country because they're not familiar with yeah. what it's supposed to look like. So it's like, yes, this is a legitimate driver's license. This is what it says. I'm just imagining a cop from Kentucky pulling over a German and looking at the license. They'd be like, <laughs> this is fake. Dude, our driver's licenses look way more legitimate than your, yeah. yours. I mean, I have... A license as well, of course, Ours in America. Looks like a coloring book. <laughs> We're gonna merge onto the Mittlerer Ring. The Ring Street is what I usually say in English. You know that one. Goes city. is like a ring through Munich, uh, not Autobahn, regular city street, but there's no traffic lights. And it was also ranked, I think, the road with the most. How do you phrase that? The Worst road traffic. where people are stuck in traffic the most in all of Germany. So <laughs> that's that. Try to fit in right behind this guy. On a road like this, we don't necessarily have the same rules as on the Autobahn. Sorry. You can pass on the right side okay. as well. On the Autobahn, it's like strictly if you go faster than the other car, you have to be on their left side. Here, it's like a city street. You can be passing someone yeah. on the right side. And traffic. Already stuck in Munich traffic. Going through a tunnel, hold your breath. That's gonna be a long tunnel. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Maybe I shouldn't have guided us here. I didn't really think there would be traffic here at freaking 2.30 p.m. Drive in Munich, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Uh -huh. This is to show because I've talked about driving before, like years ago in one of my early videos. And I talked about how BMWs and Mercedes are not necessarily like luxury, luxury cars in Germany. Because a lot of people have them. There's literally two BMWs, there's a Mercedes. A lot of people in the comments tore me apart for it. I was like, what are you talking about? Those are still luxury cars in Germany. And like, yes, of course, they're not like super cheap cars, but you see them a lot here, yeah. a lot. You know, they're as common here as Toyotas are, or Hondas uh, are in the US. Fords, I mean, BMW is built here in Munich, so it makes sense. Yeah, then here comes a Volkswagen yeah. on the left side. Well, they're also not paying the import that Americans, yeah. which automatically boosts the price in the States. Another BMW. Yes. And another Mercedes. Sprinter van. <laughs> Literally haven't even seen a different car Audi, in the last two Audi minutes. Right here behind me. Really? Okay, let me film that too. He's, he's Is he not going to pass slow. us? What the hell? Okay. An Audi driver going slow? <laughs> Biker on the median. Here we go. Oh boy. Yeah, he's definitely not allowed to do that. Don't worry, buddy. I blurred out your uh, license plate. There's the... Uh, Here's the Audi. Audi? Oh, here. What is that? A Seat? Nah, it's a Skoda. No. That? Yeah. I think that's a Seat. I don't even know that brand. You might have just got me. <laughs> Here's a Ford. Oh, and a Tesla. A Tesla. Yeah. Those are catching on. Porsche. Smart car. We Where see a lot of Porsche? smart cars. It's pretty far up oh, there. Oh, okay. Smart cars are awesome in German cities. Tell them about yeah. how smart cars will park. Between. Sideways? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you have like parallel parking spots and there's like, you know, only like this little bit of space in between two cars where you definitely can't fit a car, a smart car can sometimes fit like sideways. Yeah. If that makes sense. Like, like 90 in. degree yeah. like turns. <laughs> I think we can maybe make our way to the Autobahn, dare I say. You think so? You yeah. ready? So, so you I see the Autobahn me? sign here? Yes. All blue signs mean auto. You want to get in front of this truck? Yes. We still have a little bit. Speed! <laughs> This is gonna be kind of a soft entry though, because this is kind of where the Autobahn starts from the city, so everyone kind of is getting on it at the same time. Okay. So you don't really have your typical ramp. On Autobahn ramps, and you know this, because you've obviously been on the Autobahn with me in the passenger seat, the ramps are pretty short, 
and the speed is pretty high and you have to get to that speed of everyone else in a short amount of time, so you have to go full throttle. That's yeah. what they teach you in driving school. As soon as you get on the Autobahn ramp, full throttle. It's happening. Are you ready? There's no going back from <laughs> Are here. Are you ready? It's like the first time you get on a roller coaster. <laughs> Did you see that sign? Are we on it? Yes. Aha! Dude, everyone's already cooking. And we're only on a two-lane one so far. It's not my favorite. In kilometers per hour on my yeah. dashboard. Might as well be in Chinese. 106 right now. Should I get in the left lane here soon? If you want to. I do want to. <laughs> I'm be feeling safe, frisky. obviously. Double check all your mirrors. Uh, yeah, you gotta be, yeah, people are cooking over there. All right? Yep. That's so my signal yep. on. He's gonna take my spot. That's not how it works, babe. You can't uh, yeah. just turn out your signal and think that someone's just gonna let you go. Uh, babe, I know. I'm I, just trying yeah. to tell people that I am yeah. coming over. You're this Jeep have to isn't really helping spot. me. Yeah, we need some more space to accelerate. Yep, nope. Babe, okay. Okay. <laughs> that was a little bit chaotic, but we did it. This is the one stipulation I have. Every time I'm accelerating, yeah. you have to put the sound of a Ferrari F40. Okay. That's the sound effect. Okay, are you hitting the gas right now? <laughs> exactly. Okay. You got it. <laughs> How fast are we going? 130? Yeah. That's the recommended speed on the Autobahn. Okay, go back to the right lane. As soon as you can, you gotta go back to the right. Rechtsfahrgebot is what that's called. The rule to always stay as far right as possible. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's technically a law in the States. Do people follow it? No. But it's also not illegal to pass people on the right side on the interstates, is it? Uh, you can get pulled over for it. Pretty, okay. Yeah. Hey, we're faster than the Porsche. How do you feel about that? Pretty good. <laughs> Put me in a four. Okay, that sign right here means no speed limit. Boom. So it's possible that people behind us are going to start cooking here in a second. Yeah, I got so, an Audi coming up yep, behind me. It's yep. always an Audi. It's always an Audi. Get over? Yeah. I am. I feel like that's the equivalent of the big bubby trucks back home. Goodbye. We're going 130, which is pretty responsible. As I said, that's the recommended speed yeah, for the I Autobahn. Think, I, I think this is about where I'm going to sit, right? Is now. that where you feel comfortable? Yeah. I also feel comfortable at different speeds depending on what type of road you're on. If you're on a four lane Autobahn and it's all straight, then I feel comfortable going faster. And if there's no traffic on a two lane one that's kind of curvy like this one, I wouldn't really want to go that much faster yeah, either. Because we want to stay safe. Yeah, I don't really like the concept of the two lane Autobahn. I'm yeah. not going to lie. Just, I feel much more comfortable if it's three lane, but that's because we're priv privileged in the States with the amount of space that yeah. we have. <laughs> like, so 120? This is already, yep, so now we have these Verkehrsleitsystem is what they're called in German. These changeable speed limit yes. thingies, they can also show you if there's traffic coming up, if there was an accident, they can show different types of street signs. And those, depending on the situation, sometimes if there's just a lot of traffic or difficult conditions, they can just put in a temporary speed limit. Yeah, and look at all the people slowing down because Germans follow the law. Mm -hmm. Unless there is no Germans, law, and then I they're mean, like, speed. Speed. No, I mean, Germans still usually go at least 10 or 20 over the speed yeah. limit. How's it feeling? Good. I mean, so far, not too crazy, right? Like, this is a pretty no. harmless no. section. <laughs> Salzburg is only 133 kilometers away. That's like a normal commute for Americans. You want to go? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> if we kept going this direction, this would also take us to Italy. So how do you feel about our next Italy trip? You do all the driving. God. As long <laughs> as we don't go to Rome. That Roman traffic. I was so If we chill ever go to Rome again, we are taking a train. Ooh, we can stop and get an espresso. Do you want to? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Come in, What's the case? Espresso? Espresso, espresso yeah. yeah. Here, drink or to go? Here. Yeah. One way express -y. Yes. That is all? It's got a I learned this in Italy. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Gotta stay alert on the Autobahn. Yeah. All right. And a quick bathroom break, as per usual. You have to pay for the bathrooms at these rest stops, but in return, they're usually really nice and clean. Okay. Watch out for the dude from Hamburg in front of us. You can always tell where people are from by the license plates. The yes, first I like that. few letters always tell you an HH is Hamburg. M is Munich. He's going slow, babe. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, he's going slow. You gotta watch out for him. 
watch out for him. I know. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't too bad because we also currently have a speed limit of 100 here. Let's take the next Ausfahrt and then we can get back on the Autobahn. Fart. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> we can see the Alps. Beautiful. I don't know if I can get that on video properly, but you see those things? That's the Alps. Looks a little bit cooler in real life. We're already like pretty far south. I'm gonna have to get us back home from here. I mean, I know how to get back home, but like it's gonna take a while. <laughs> what do you mean you are? I'm driving. I mean, I'm gonna navigate us, or do you know how to get back home from here? <laughs> I'd end up in Austria. Hey. Haley. Oh. Ah, so I accidentally made it to Salzburg. Uh, Over the roundabout and go straight. Now we follow the Autobahn signs back to Munich. Okay. And back to Munich, München. The second home. Okay, these people better hit the gas a little bit. We got this truck in front of us, so. Oh boy, that he's trying to. Not easy. No, I think he's trying to come over. Ah, uh, god damn it. Yeah, we might be stuck here for a little bit. Yeah, we are. Yeah, I'm gonna do it after this car. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, this Ooh. wasn't really a. Uh... It's a dog eat dog world out here. <laughs> Holy shit, survival of the fittest. This wasn't really a typical autobahn ramp either. I was trying to give you one of those typical ones, but for some reason, like, none of them are what I want them to be right now. If Charles Darwin was around today, he wouldn't go to the Galapagos to prove survival of the fittest. Just come to Germany, go to the autobahn. Holy cow. <laughs> you doing okay? Yeah. The trucks look very different in Germany. Yes. I like it because you can unload from the side. Left lane. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm a badass. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Berlin, only 600 kilometers. Nice. We can do that in a day. Yes. We can do that in a day for sure. Only like eight espressos. Hey, what's the fastest you've gone so far? Like 135 or so? About 140. 140? Oh. Do you want to go any faster than that? Or do you feel maybe, comfortable but these are all... So we have too much traffic today. These are all meter like speed. Because we have one of the temporary things right up here. The Zambon. You know what that reminds me of? Huh. Zambonis. Was that those horns that they were? Remember the during World the Cup? World Cup? Yeah. No, they had a different name. Okay. What is a zamboni? I have no clue. Vuvuzelas. Ooh, yeah, that's it. What's a zamboni? We Google that. The trademark for a machine that smooths the ice in an ice skating yes, rink. Yes, that's it. An ice <laughs> hockey rink. All the Canadians that watch your channel are gonna be like, "You <laughs> idiot." Do you feel comfortable on the autobahn right now? Yeah, right now I feel like I'm just back home, like driving. Nice. So next vacation. Yeah, I can drive. You feel comfortable splitting the drive? Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> what did I get myself into? <laughs> Finally. This was a mistake. This never happened. I need one of those men in black, like, Remote. wipe your memories. Oh, gosh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, road trip through Europe. I feel the urge to import an American muscle car here, just catching on. Like an old school 60s Mustang or something. Okay. <sighs> They have Mustangs here, right? And, yeah, I've seen a few of them. I'm so not a car I've person. I've seen one of them. I don't know these things. I have not seen like a Charger, like an old Charger or anything like that. I okay. think that would be a really cool car to have. You couldn't drive something like a Challenger. I know you don't know what that this is, but like just for the audience, like you yeah. could not drive like an old Challenger here or like a Bonneville. Like, like you're not allowed to? Or? No, it's just so big. It would just be a challenge on some streets. And then also, I don't know if those engines would pass. Is it tough? Yeah, to yeah. Have, like inspections. Because those are like the crazy old school like engines that are just chaotic and. You know what we're gonna pass here soon? Allianz. Yes. Allianz Arena, home yes. of FC Bayern, one of the coolest stadiums in the world, in my opinion. There she blows. It's beautiful. It's like a cloud. Ooh. It's kind of hard to get on camera. What a break, people. We're on the Autobahn. It's the right pedal. <laughs> speed! <laughs> That's the common phrase. But speed? Speed! <laughs> it's from Top Gear. Man, we're almost at a complete halt. I don't know if we're still gonna be able to do a faster speed limit. It's okay. I mean, it's not okay actually is what I meant to say. Next time. Next time. I wonder if the people that first like put in the like no speed limit law, if they had any comprehension about how fast civilian cars would go one day. 
Yeah, I have no clue. I don't actually know about the history of this. If they like time traveled to like now or like were resurrected now, they'd be like, you still have this? Yeah. Like when cars can go like zero to 60 in two seconds? <laughs> I mean, like, that's you're crazy. Aware, you're aware of the analogy right now, right? To uh, US uh, yeah, laws sort of. and the US constitution yeah. but about it's the same thing. certain uh, gun laws. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. Like it's a cultural, it like it's part of like the cultural identities. Like, to certain it's parts so of the... weird. Yeah, it's an equivalent of like where the U.S. is an outlier with their gun laws among the developed Western world. So is Germany with the no speed limit thing. And for some reason, especially conservative people are just clinging on to this. And whenever there's a suggestion of implementing a permanent speed limit, they're gonna bring arguments like, "No, but this is tradition. You can't take my freedom." Blah blah blah. And like all these statistics show that you know it would be safer. It will be better for the environment. We're the only country that does this because it's not very a, a sane thing to do. And don't get me wrong, like I enjoy driving faster here and there as well. But from a rational point of view, I definitely personally think that there should be a permanent speed limit. Yeah, I see it. I mean, if you are a car guy, I really understand why people would import a car temporarily just like as a car tourist and to drive. drive here. It's beautiful. You can push your car to the limit here in ways that you can't in other places. I mean, positives and negatives to that, but I understand why guys do it now. And we're taking a Randy. This we're taking an exit. Our Ausfahrt. This is our Ausfahrt. Ausfahrt. <laughs> no, Ausfahrt. Ausfahrt. Oh, yeah, I say it right. <laughs> no, you said it right. I yeah. just wanted to make the fart joke. You're corrupting okay, me. Okay, we're turning left here. So. Taking a Larry. Where does that actually come from, taking a Larry and taking a Randy? I don't know. Me and my friends always did it. No, it's... other people do it too. I, I knew this way before I met you. I don't know. But I think it's cool because it's like very clear. You don't get left and right confused, I feel like. Oh, you're... Your phone straight oh, by. Sorry. <laughs> Blinded by the light. Driving by the lights. Why am I saying driving, driving by the lights? Blinded. I don't know. We're driving. We're driving. It's like I narrate lights. the whole time. We're turning. <laughs> And we're taking a Larry. We're taking a Larry. No, we're not actually. You sound don't. too good doing that. <laughs> okay, let's see if you remember the intersection rules. Dude, I don't know what he's doing. God. <laughs> City driving is definitely a little wild here. Oh yeah, and you can't cut the corners like most Americans do. You always gotta make sure that you, when you turn left or you turn right, that you yeah. drive a big curve. You are now officially a European driver. Winner, watch out Germany. I think next step's Formula One. For sure, that's a realistic goal. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how far to pull up. Um, Like a little bit further. Guys. We did it. We should have come. All right, we're back home. How did it go? Good. I like driving on the Autobahn more yeah. than I do the neighborhoods. Yeah, I could so see that. The bikers mixed with the next for links. Rechts for links, yeah. Is a lot. something I'm gonna have to get used to. Yeah, especially so. in the summer months, and it's it's only spring now, so summer is gonna be even worse with yeah. bikers and pedestrians. So yeah. I think if I need to get through a neighborhood, I'm gonna ride a bike. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a bike now too. We've been riding our bikes That's a lot true. too. I, I'm Germanized at you this are. point. But I think you did it really well. I think at the beginning you were definitely very careful, very slow. Yeah. Um, I did feel like a driving instructor, but then like, I don't know, half an hour in or so, I felt like we were just back at home in the US. And yeah. oh, I think the light in the garage just yeah. went off. Um, I hope you guys can still see us. But no, I felt like we were basically back in the US and like you are just the designated driver and I'm the passenger yeah. driver and I like that. Before really. long, I was complaining about people driving. I felt very- <laughs> Very German? Very at home. Good. No, so. I think you did really well. I felt very safe and comfortable. So right. thank you guys so much for watching. Have you ever driven on the Autobahn or have you ever driven in Germany in general or in another country where you were like completely overwhelmed at first, maybe on the other side of the road. I've done that before in Thailand and it was an experience. I've never driven myself in the UK and I don't know if I would trust myself doing it. But yeah, let us know about all of your driving experiences in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you support Ben and his courage today, yeah. definitely give this video a thumbs don't up. Don't be too rough on I me. had to convince him a little bit to do this <laughs> with me, but I'm glad we did it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Um, check out my Instagram if you want to know what we're up to here in Germany. And with that, I hope we'll see you next time. Cheers. See ya.
Get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs>